Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 4, Episode 14 of Legends of Tomorrow called Nip Stuck. And we start off with uh, Neuron wants John to bring Tabitha back from hell. And he says, uh, no, that's not happening. And they're in um, the Ice Age. Then we get to where Nora is getting uh, her picture taken. And it turned out bad because she's being formally... Um, and formally taken in by the Time Bureau and now she has to do her paperwork. Then we cut to where Ava is proud of her and then we cut to where Gary talks to Ava. The men we cut to where Gideon is searching for Ray and just any unusual uh, magic activity and help pinpoint them. And then we found out that um, Ava is letting Gary do the performance reviews when they should be looking for the legends. <laughs> And then we cut to where uh, Neuron threatens Ray to John and tries to off himself, but he changes into a feather and is like, well, that didn't work out now, did it? And then we cut to where Nate is playing classical music for the dragon. And then we cut to where Gideon got a location because of that tiny bit of magic. And so the legends go to the Ice Age. And uh, Sarah was going to fire on Ray, but Mick said fire <laughs> and basically it's a trap and the legends got buried alive while Ray and John escape. Then we cut to where Ava blocked the legends on distress call and we see that uh, Ray and John arrive in a Celtic village in 55 BCE and they meet Constantine's ancestor. Then we go back to the present day where Mona talks to Nora about weird Ava and just weird people in general. Because uh, during the performance review announcement, this one guy's like, oh great, this one. But after he had his review, he's like, Gary is the best. He's all the man we need, or whatever. And so, uh, Nora agrees to help. Then we go to where um, Sarah uh, gets really pissed off at Mick. And they call each other out. Then we cut out, then we cut to um, Stonehenge in 55 BCE. And we have the douche ancestor is trying to send a fine creature to hell, which is stupid because it's not bothering anybody. It's like, it's like a harmless one. Or harm, harmless-ish. You know, it's not a danger or anything. Then we cut to Ramona snooping and someone buses her, but she covers it well. Then we cut to Azari and Nate take care of the egg and then they make out and do other stuff. And um, then we got to make apologizes to Sarah, um, but that was really Charlie, because <laughs> Sarah was about to do the same thing, and but she does manage to set them straight and get them put aside their differences and everything. I don't know why that's so down. I mean, uh, anyway, uh, then we got to her um, Mona talks to Nora, and Nora tried to Mona because she had her evaluation. And then we got to her John talks to the ancestor, and the ancestor KOs him. And then we cut to where Mick and Sarah go through Ray's room and they reminisce about the OG legends and how basically they're the only ones left and it's kind of crazy. And it was actually a, a really good moment. I actually really, really like that part. Then um, Noron goes to John and again, John's not budging from anything. <laughs> and we cut to where Sarah eases up and said so they're going to have fun now because there was only like 34 hours of like survival time for avalanche type situation or whatever. And she's like, screw it, we're just gonna have fun. Turn on the turn on the heat, it's cold in here, let's have some fun, let's play, you know, so that's what they do. So they have time, they're playing a game that I think Ray created. And they're playing music and just, you know, having a blast basically. And um, then we cut to where John talks to the creature and John is, you know, scared about all the people he sent to hell and he doesn't really want to go and then we cut to where the creature actually heals him and then we go to ritual time and then we cut to where Mona is going to go see Gary and the legends like I said are having fun and playing the game and talk about like family and stuff and how they are one and then basically this ship is loose because of all the heat <laughs> and they melted away a good chunk of stuff then we go back to his ritual time, but John managed to stop it and cuts his ancestor's hand off. <laughs> and uh, then we go back to 
um, but it's having her progress report, and we have uh, the thing that was hypnotizing everything, which was Gary's nipple. So gross. So gross. And so uh, then Wolfie happened. <laughs> And then we cut to where John is John versus Ray. Then the leg legends are free, and they're heading to 55 BC because everything's great. Then Wolfie got um, Ava and Nora uh, back to normal, and basically um, we go back to John versus Ray, and John sacrifices himself, and. Tabitha is back because uh, Neuron used the double switch and we found out that Tabitha is the fairy godmother and Neuron makes out with her. Just wow. Then Wolfie attacks Gary and I'm, I want to say she ate it but I'm not sure. And then uh, Nora is going after Mo because um, Nora went to the time bureau and got Gary and D um, Wolfied Mona and then they left. And that was the end of the episode. I give this episode an A. It was very freaking bizarre. Uh, especially when Ray made out with the fairy godmother. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it was weird. And just the whole Gary being bad thing also is very weird to me. I'm just like, okay. But overall, I really did enjoy the episode. Um, I think they have interesting plot points in there. And how um, Zori says, like, I'm not going to sit on this egg. I'm not going to help with this egg. But she ends up helping with the egg. So I actually kind of like that. But anyway, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video which will be right after this because I'm doing it right. Bye.